Hey there everybody, Joseph back again, here to bring you a video on The Walking Dead, episode 15. Um, I'd like to discuss some things on, uh, on that uh, episode, uh, and things that have happened. Um, for instance, like for Oceanside, and uh, what they had to go through when Rick, Daryl, and, and the group had had arrived uh, to take their weapons. So, let's begin. <clears throat> um, first of all, what has gone on um, already in, in Season 7, Episode 15, Rick and the group are looking for more weapons um, for... Uh, uh, for uh, the garbage pail kids um, and uh, or scavengers, I should say that's their name, scavengers, and uh, getting ready for war. Now, with them going out scavenging for um, for for more weapons uh, for battle, and uh, you know just gathering as much as they can. Tara at the time did not tell Rick. Um, where this place was, where they were located, and she never said anything before to uh, to let him know about all the weapons that they had, where they were located. And now, in episode 15, um, Tara finally had come out to tell Rick she knows a place and she knows some people uh, and, and uh, a group. Uh, an organization um, uh, called the Oceanside. Well, at that time, Rick, Rick was very upset a little bit with Tara for not telling him. Um, now, if she would have told him at the time that uh, Oceanside was already, you know, uh, they had already, you know, existed and all the weapons that they carried, um, Rick and, and, you know, Michonne, and everybody would have had the chance at that time uh, when Rick and Michonne were out scavenging over at the fair. And now if she would have told them back then to say, hey, I know a group. I've been there. I know where they're located. Uh, they have tons of weapons. Um, you know, and they're called the Oceanside. I can take you there. But Tara never did that. Now... Daryl um, had already had already escaped to the hilltop, and now um, he was at the kingdom for a while, and he decided to take off. He met up with Carol, reunited with her, which is awesome, by the way. The king and queen, Carol and Daryl, for life. Um, you know they they reunited, and um, and they decided. You know, that they were going to part ways for a little bit. And Carol finally found out from Morgan that Abraham and Glenn were murdered. Um, that Negan had bashed their heads in and, uh, um, and he has killed more people, such as Olivia, Spencer, and uh, um, uh, Tara's girlfriend. Um, now for see for season seven episode fifteen, um, Tara finally got to that point to tell Rick, "Hey, I know a group that have tons of weapons. I will take you there." Um, and Rick sort of had that attitude, um, you know, of saying, "Hey, well, why didn't you tell us this before? Why didn't you let me know before about this?" and Tara came up with that excuse um, that uh, she made a promise. Now, Rick wasn't very happy with that. Um, so what happens is that they decided to go down to Oceanside. Daryl with his crossbow, awesome. The king, man. Daryl is awesome. Um... Michonne in the tree, um, Rick uh, coming out, and Carl, Father Gabriel, 
uh, Daryl, you know, um, and they finally, you know, come out and put everybody together and, um, you know, so Tara had the chance to go in and point the gun at Cindy's, uh, grandmother. And, um, so basically Tara got their attention and, uh, you know, that's where Cindy finally come out to, um, tell Tara, you promised. Tara come out and say, hey, I know I kept my promise, Cindy, but my friends are out there and they want to fight the saviors. Well, later on, um, you know, uh, Cindy, Enid, uh, Daryl, all of them were out and, um, and while they had everybody, you know, gathered up, walkers began to come in. Well, now Beatrice and, you know, all, you know, part of the, the ocean side actually fought to keep their people alive. Well, Beatrice actually finally came out to where, you know, she wants to try to fight them for what they have done to their sons, brothers, husbands, uh, boyfriends, whoever, you know, they had. And um, Cindy's grandmother wasn't very happy and she had a gun up to Tara. Well, Rick told Cindy's grandmother, hey, you have to put that gun down. We're taking your weapons and that is not going to change. So which means that Rick is in, in charge now. He's in lead. He, he does what he does best, and that is to survive. He wants to get people to join them for the battle, for the war that is coming. And, um, you know, Negan, Negan has no clue. Now, for him to say that old little birdie has already told him that Rick and the group is up to no good, well, he doesn't know that for sure. So whoever this little birdie is that ratted them out... Um, I think that Negan just might have the wrong idea. Um, you know, the position that Sasha is in. I mean, she's in a huge predicament right now. Eugene, Eugene has no clue what he's getting himself into. Some people are saying that he's there to stay alive. And, you know, he says that Negan and the saviors are protecting him. They're keeping him well alive and, you know, treating him well. Negan isn't, the, the, you know, Negan is a type to do something like that, but he's not as good to do that for somebody. He's a backstabber. He, he's going to do everything he can in his power to uh, corrupt their minds. Now, after Daryl, Rick, and, and the gang have taken their weapons, they walk off, and that's it. Well, when they get back, okay... When they get back, Rosita opens the gate. And Enid had asked her, is everything okay? Well, Rosita didn't answer her right away. All she could say is, somebody is here. She takes them down to a room, and lo and behold, when Rick opens up that door, lo and behold, who's there? Dwight. That catches Daryl's attention now daryl is a type he wants to beat the living holy crap shit out of dwight for what he has done he has no idea what he got himself into now with daryl wanting to beat the crap out of him that's daryl daryl's upset i don't blame him look at what they did to him back at the sanctuary. They tortured him. They did everything that they could to break him. Daryl wasn't broken. Now, um, here's the thing. Um, what do you think Dwight is willing to do? You know, if, if, you know, your ideas, opinions, please leave them down in the comment section. Um, is he willing to work with Rick? Is he willing to help him? Is he, uh, you know, willing to take their side to fight? Um, and um, is he willing to kill Negan? Now, 
in the promo for Sunday's episode, uh, for this Sunday, he was telling Rick, I want Negan dead. Now, that should say something. Is he willing to team up with Rick? And um, is he willing to fight? Uh, now, in, in, the, uh, in the promo, you see him with Negan. Now, tell me your thoughts on that, on uh, with him being with Negan again, and is he willing to fight with Rick to kill Negan? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you like the video, throw it a like, and uh, please leave your comments down in the, uh, in the comment uh, section, and, um, you know, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace.